So Homefront, which was designed by Chaos Studios, which was owned by THQ, which has went bankrupt and got bought out now, ran Homefront. And I gotta say, it was an amazing campaign. It was one of those campaigns where it really shows you what propaganda can do to you. And if you haven't played the game, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it really, it's about the North Koreans invading the United States, and it really just, you can't stop the campaign. It just grabs you in. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the multiplayer. Now, I got it back in Black Friday 2013 um, for $20 at Best Buy. And, it, you know, it sold at $60 beginning, just like all video games do. Um, but the thing is, is their online servers are now offline. When, the, when THQ went bankrupt, they sold the rights to Homefront to um, Crisis, because Crisis is making Homefront 2. But one of the problems that they did with this was now the servers are offline. Instead of selling it off or, you know, trying, of course, when you go bankrupt, you're not worried about keeping your product line up and running. You're trying to stay afloat. But Chaos Studios, which was owned by THQ, like I said, was then given over to Chris, Chris, Crisis, Crisis Studios. It's the UK version of Crisis Studios. I do know that. And what happened was they basically had already, you know, launched out, contract out, Homefront 2 to be made, so they just said, you know, Crisis just came in and said, hey, we'll, we'll buy up the whole franchise. Now, Homefront already um, had a book that came out for it, and it was pretty popular. Homefront 2, we do know, comes out in September, uh, around September 2014, around that date is what it's rumored to be. You know, it's gonna, ha um, Crisis has full rights as of January 22nd, 2013, when THQ went bankrupt, and it is, they're using the Crisis 3, or Cry 3, Cry Engine 3, which is supposed to be one of the best engines out there, because as we all know, Crisis has made some amazing high graphic games, and Homefront 1 kind of lacked on the really high intensity graphics, so we hope that brings in kind of a, a new front for Homefront, so that the graphics are up to par, or even above par, of some of the top, you know, triple-A titles. Now, Homefront kind of got average ratings, you know, 7, 8 out of 10 usually, and it was on the Xbox, PlayStation 3, PC, and OnLive. It was one of the original um, titles that was on OnLive. So it was kind of interesting. I actually have it on OnLive too, and it was pretty interesting and fun to play. Now, it came out March 15, 2011, and so that's about two years ago to this date. And it sold about 350, uh, 375,000 copies on its first day. So it, it really exploded. I mean, people thought it was going to go really good. And I think the total sell mark was like 2.6 million. So not nearly as high as you know some of the top video games, but it was still up there. Um, so it, it, it's one of those games that people love playing. Now, now around today's date, it's selling for about $16 on Xbox and $8 on PC. I could not find where to buy it off for the um, PlayStation 3. So that's one of those things. And online, I think it's still like $20, $20-$30, so they don't really change their prices around, which online went bankrupt too, if, if you don't know that. So the question is, to get back to the whole point of the story, is it right that, you know, THQ basically turned the servers offline? Because when you buy something, I guess you buy the game. You know, technically you could say you buy it for the offline edition of it. You buy it for the, the setup multiplayer in the campaign. Well, with Homefront, you know, they came with the campaign, which is amazing. Trust me, it's worth the $16 or the $8. It was worth the $20 I spent at Best Buy. Um, but is it right that they can do this? And it brings up the question... But in a lot of companies, when you go bankrupt, basically it takes out all your contracts, and a federal judge, if you're big enough, can decide, you know, what money goes where and whether that's right or not. And so it, it outraged a lot of people because here they were playing and their servers went offline. And Homefront's not one of those games where you can do split screen; it's single player online. So it kind of took off that whole thing. And the problem was that a lot of people had was they had a DHC that came out, which is like extra content. You know, all the main video games have this. And it was only after like two months, two or three months, and they lost all of it. So the question is, since you can't play multiplayer at all, if people, some people bought it for sixty dollars and then paid the fifteen or I think it was ten dollars for the DHC, the extra package. So now they have seventy dollars invested in the game that they can't play anymore. Now I know people might argue well, if you bought it at the initial public offering, you know when they first sold the game, that it, you know you got your money's worth. It's been two years, but I still play Call of Duty Modern Warfare Four. You know what I mean? And the online sucks, but it's still a fun game to play. You know, you can get in a private match and play with your friends. So it's just an interesting thing. You know, we don't normally see this happen, and THQ went bankrupt, and 
it's sad to see, you know, a game company go bankrupt because they brought some really good games out. Um, they actually did a really interesting thing, too. They tried to save their company. They would let you basically have a bundle for all their PC games on Humble Bumble, which is like a um, donation website for video games. And if you want to look into that, maybe I'll do a video about that, but it's way too complicated to talk about right now. But, yeah, they made a whole bunch of money off that. So, it, it, I mean, it was a way for them to try to stay above water. They let off all their employees. But So, I think Homefront 2 is going to be an amazing game. You know, it's run by Crisis now, and it's going to have the Cry, th Cry Engine 3. That's kind of weird to say, but... So, Homefront 2 is going to be awesome, but I feel bad for those um, Homefront regular players that can't play online. And I know, for me, Homefront was a very awesome multiplayer and a very awesome single player. And the multiplayer was what really sold the game, even though the campaign was amazing. The multiplayer just really, you know, sealed the deal. And now that it's gone, no one's really playing anymore. Why would you if you can't play online? So, it's sad to say, Homefront 1 has gone away. That kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you guys at Homefront 2.